Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome to the world premiere of the new film by Charles Officer, Akilah's Escape. My name is Cameron Bailey. I'm the artistic director and co-head here at TIFF. I want to thank you all for coming. You know, putting on a festival during a pandemic has been a trip, I'm not going to lie, but this I could get used to. It's beautiful tonight. I, I hope you enjoyed being here. As we gather, we always encourage um, everyone to just take a moment to reflect on where we are, the land that we're on, who the traditional keepers of this land are, if there are treaty relationships that govern it, or if it's unceded territory. Here in Toronto, we are located on the treaty lands and territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit and the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe, the Wendat, and the Haudenosaunee. And this territory is within the lands protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant and is home to many First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people today. And we are grateful to work on this land and grateful this year to be able to present the work a number of indigenous filmmakers. Uh, we want to uh, just also thank some of the people and some of the organizations that make what we do at TIFF possible, and it's, it's been a challenging year, so we're especially thankful to them. Beginning with our lead sponsor, Bell, our major sponsors, RBC, L'Oreal Paris, and Visa, and our government supporters, uh, the Government of Ontario, Telephone Canada, representing the federal government, and the City of Toronto for their support. And thanks also to the individual members and donors, maybe some of you here tonight who've been supporting TIFF sometimes for many, many years. What you do helps us create a more informed, engaged, connected world. And if you're not a member and you're interested and you want to be, maybe you want to come back and do this more often, um, you can go online to our website at tiff.net slash join. A reminder that this film and every film in the festival is eligible for the, the uh, People's Choice Award, and you vote for that prize, so please go online to um, tip.net slash vote to vote. And this film's also eligible for the Amplify Voices Award, which is presented uh, this year by Canada Goose. Big thanks to XYZ Films for providing us with this film. They may also go by XYZ. Uh, be, sure, be sure to catch the, uh, the Q&A for this film, um, which we have done uh, pre-recorded. Although in this case, this is one of the few films where what we in the festival world call the talent are actually in town. So um, <laughs> we're grateful for that to us. Um, but there will also be a, a pre-recorded Q&A available on our YouTube channel if you want to check that out. Many of you will know the work of Charles Officer. He's based right here in Toronto. Uh, he is, in his films, I would say, a poet of black trauma, but more importantly, of its overcoming. His shorts include When Morning Comes, Short Hymn, Silent War, uh, and many others. Uh, his feature film, Nurse Fighter Boy, is one of the definitive films of this city. And his documentaries include uh, Mighty Jerome, about Harry Jerome, and Unearned Verses. Uh, he's a remarkable filmmaker, a powerful voice who has been consistent uh, in the stories that he is bringing to the screen. And he's here to introduce A Kill's Escape to you today. Please join me in welcoming Charles Officer. team for including Achilles Escape in this program. It's an honor and, and welcome to our world premiere. This is pretty amazing. So um, it's weird because I uh, was just reflecting on the first time I was at this festival and screened a film that was actually 2000, pretty much exactly this day. Um, my first first short film played here and um, it's called When Morning Comes, and, and it's uh, pretty wild uh, to actually think that I can think back that far. <laughs> and, um, and it's wild to be returning with this film that has taken uh, a long time to make. I don't think, um, um, I've never known a project that has not been a labor of love. And, and so I want to acknowledge a few people really quickly. Um, 
obviously there's so many individuals that are involved um, to make this possible, but I, I want to start with our cast. And we have some amazing members here tonight, and, and you're gonna, I'm, I'm excited to introduce you to some of them later on. Um, but I do want to shout out one in, uh, in particular who isn't here with us. He's been banned from Canada. <laughs> That's a joke. He's, he, he's, in, he's in LA, and he with a lot of smoke. Um, Saul Williams. This man is someone who I've known and admired as an artist um, when I was in my 20s, and we've had this long relationship, and, and I, I'm, I'm so honored that he accepted the, the task of playing Keela Brown, and I, I'll be honest, I just wanted to do a, a Saul Williams vanity project. He's an incredible musician and artist and someone who I just love so much, and so I'm shouting him out, and you're gonna meet the other uh, cast who are here tonight as well. Um, our crew is uh, small but mighty, and 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 I want to also shout out a new mom, our um, our cinematographer Maya Bankovic. Uh, women rarely get opportunities to shoot films that are within this sort of genre. Uh, so so wake up everybody! Like she is massively skilled. She's an artist. You know, don't be intimidated because she is so small. <laughs> she is uh, she's got a big heart and incredible vision. And so I want to thank her. Uh, Andres Landau, editor, thank you for being with me all the way through. Uh, Diana Abitangelo, uh, production designer, um, who's been with me since my first project uh, at the Canadian Film Center. Jeanette Linton, who worked on Nurse Fighter Boy. Uh, Jeff Brownell, who was not only my first AD, but a guide and, and a person who helped us navigate with such a small budget and with uh, big ambitions. So, um, Sim, Toronto, Jane Tattersall, Peter Gibson, um, Dave McCallum, this man, I've been working with sound for a number of years. Thank you for your generosity and, and for your creativity. Red Lab, um, CBC Films, Mariners Linton, you were the first person to step in on this project. I want to thank you so much. This is, again, a person of color who's been working this business for a very long time. And we have to look out for those individuals who are holding those spaces down because they're looking out for people in our stories. So thank you very much for being first in. Um, um, Ontario Creates, Telefilm, Reservoir. Uh, I really want to thank our executive team. Sorry, Cameron, taking so long. But guys, this doesn't happen so often. Um, so um, Karen Wookie, thank you so much for your intelligence and guidance. You're an amazing human being and an incredible filmmaker. Marty Cates, one of the first producers ever approached me after I made my short film and took me out to lunch. I'm like wondering, why the hell are you taking me out to lunch? Um, thank you. Uh, Michael Levine, thank you so much for, for your support, for standing up for, for um, crazy ideas and, 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 and imagination. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Really, really sorry here. Uh, no, I'm not going to apologize. I take that back. So here we are. Wendy Motion Brathwaite. This writer is incredible. Met her in many, I used to listen to this woman when I was at OCAD, working real late nights and listening to her on the radio. And this woman's voice carried me. She doesn't really know this, but carried me through my creative time when I was at OCAD in art school. I had an opportunity to work with her in theater, and she's an incredible writer and an amazing storyteller. Blessed to have your essence. And I mean, she writes rough. She's amazing. Um, my producing partner, this, this young man who I met, a few years ago through a mentor, Ron Mann. I'm giving you a lot of story here, but there's a lot of these interesting connections that happen. So Jake Yanowski from Chicago, he brought in Vic Mensa for this project. And Vic Mensa, let me, let, let, let me tell you, Saul Williams is Vic Mensa's mentor. So this is an interesting synergy. Jake, I love you. You've been with me. You, you stand by me, and I stand by you, and I couldn't have made this film without you. So thank you, everybody.